Hey guys, welcome back. In this last lecture, I'm going to teach you how to create landing pages with Canva. So let's go, let's create landing pages. I want to say that this is a feature that is available for all Canva users. So free and paid users alike are able to create mini websites or landing pages with Canva. So the way to do it is going to be explained in this lecture. So what we are going to do is to create a landing page for something that is useful to me. And you are going to do this for something that is useful to you, right? I don't want to lose your time. This is not my style. I mean, this course and the Canva Master course are both courses designed for making you save time and create some practical document, practical visuals that you are going to be using to promote your business. So I don't want to waste my time and I don't want to waste your time. So this is why I'm going to create something that is useful to me and I recommend you do the same. So I am going to create is a landing page to invite people to buy my Canva master course. So the way to do this, I'm going to start with a presentation so it's going to be a landing page designed for desktop users or people who will view this landing page via computer. So let's start with the presentation. Okay, so I'm using the presentation format, the same as before, so 1920 by 1080p pixels. And uh, I want this to be a couple of pages long. So uh, let me first show you where you can find the website. So it, if you create some stuff, so this is still blank, but once you will have we have created some uh, visuals, then you can go to publish button here, or it says present because we have opened the presentation canvas. But if you click on the arrow here, you will see website. So it's still in beta, but it's available right now. So you can use this to export as a website. Okay, so let's go. Let's create this landing page for promoting my 2019 Canva master course. So let's start with the first page, which is going to be kind of like a thumbnail of the course. I want to have a strong visual of the course thumbnail. And then uh, scrolling down, I want to list a few key features of the course. So what students can hope to learn with this course. And then maybe a couple of testimonials from my students. And then we will have a call to action with a button that invite people that give people a discount to grab the course for $9.99, which is the cheapest price that they will ever find on Udemy. So let's create this. We are going to start from scratch, so not from a template. Uh, let's just do this from scratch. And uh, first thing first, I need a visual of my course. So I need this thumbnail. Let me see if I have already uploaded it here. I don't see it here, so I'm just going to import it very quickly. So I'm going to drop this into Canva, go back up. Okay, I want this landing page to kind of be clean. So let's see if I import this. Maybe with a nice title. Don't know yet exactly in terms of composition. I'm usually finding inspiration as I design. That's how I work. So let me see, I want to import one of these images of me without a background, maybe the one that shows me as an expert like this one. It's like looking pretty cool. So something like this looks pretty cool. And I need some kind of text like a headline. Let's get rid of this one for now. Or maybe I could just have a headline. Let's see, let's have a text here first. So t and what the headline is going to be yes grab the best canva course on udemy for only 9.99 okay so this is a little bit salesy but Again, the idea is not to create some random design so that we will, you will probably never use in your life. The goal of my content, of my tutorials and courses is to help you grow your business. So me, I'm growing my business. You, you're growing your business. So that's the deal. Uh, let me make this bigger and use a font. I'm gonna go with a custom font, so one of my fonts, but you go with the one that works for your business, okay? 
So let me make this bigger and make this, okay, something like this. Grab the best Canva course on Udemy for only $9.99. Okay, so this is decent. First thing first, I want to insert this thumbnail of the course somewhere on this page. Okay, so for this, I'm going to use a grid. So if I go to all elements, yes, I'm going to use a grid. I'm going to drop the thumbnail into the grid and I'm going to push this in the back, backward, backward. Okay, of course, now I cannot read the text because this needs to have some transparency. Or we could have some kind of background for this text so that it has like a higher contrast. The problem with this photo is that there is no contrast between my text and my visual. So I'm going to get rid of it. And it's okay sometimes to search for what works for you. So maybe I can do something like this. I will lower this visual here, have the call to action here. Grab the best Canva course on Udemy for only $9.99. Okay, and let's see if I can put my visual here under or at least some kind of nice. Yes, this is pretty cool. And then maybe find a frame. Some kind of interesting visual, I don't know, like something that could add to this page at the moment. I can have something like that. I can make this black going to stretch this a bit. I'm going to rotate this, something like that. Yes, that's going to work fine because I want the thumbnail of the course inside of this box. So let me go back to it. So you see here, guys, I have no fixed plans and I'm just designing as I go. And I suggest you do the same because this is usually how you come up with the best designs by trying and by yeah, by working on your design, it, it's a process, you know, it comes naturally sometimes and sometimes you have to search a little bit to experience a little bit to really find the best uh, solution, the thing that, that you are looking for. So let me make this fit nicely. I don't need to see any pink showing and this is going to come forward. All right, so this is not bad. But this needs to be a little bit smaller so we don't see the blue part of this photo behind it. All right, so this is cool. I'm going to group these two elements, not the gradient, but these two. Now they are grouped. I can move them easily. So maybe now it's just time to find the right composition for this landing page. So this is pretty cool. Maybe I can give the border another color, uh, the Canva color, for example. Yes, this looks nice. And this can be optimized. Okay, the best Canva course for only $9.99. Okay, so this is decent. Maybe I can squeeze that so it's the same size as the box right there. This looks pretty decent, the best Canva course for only $9.99. And then I want to give an indication that people need to scroll down, right? So I'm going to insert two little arrows right here, indicating that they have to scroll down. Okay, so for this, I need some arrows. Okay, and I need graphics. Okay, so this could work, but it's a paid one. So I'm going to filter this for the free ones and see if I have these little arrows, something like this, but I don't need the 3D effect, just need something very simple here to indicate to people that they can scroll down. So I think I gotta create my own with this thing. Okay, I have two of these, like this, make this small, like this, and center this with my text. So this is one and the, the other one is here. See this? Perfect. So now I need to change their color, of course, because this doesn't look that good. Let's see white. Yes, white will work. So we have another white one. Okay. Maybe I can make this 
a little bit smaller. I'm gonna start locking things up because I don't want all of this stuff to move. So, yep, this is much better now. Uh, let me take this. Gonna group it actually, yes, this is the middle. All right, so this is pretty good. The best Canva course for only $9.99. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this. And maybe here in the background, I can have something else than just pure white. So there is one background I like to use. This one, and I want it white. Hmm. Let's see, with more transparency, maybe 40. Okay, so this is not bad. I'm gonna stick with this one for now and go ahead and create the next page, second page, all right? So in the second page, we said we want to list a few key features of the course. Let's do this. So key features of my course, I'm gonna use the T tool, like the key to call a text box. And I'm going to write down some of the advantages of taking the course. Okay, this course will help you. And then I'm gonna list a couple of things that, that my students will be able to achieve after they finish the course. So I want to consistent with the font I'm using here, Proxima Nova. Well, you know what, guys? I think if I use Proxima Nova, it's not gonna work because this is one of my custom fonts and it's not gonna display properly once you click this link of this website I'm creating right now. So I'm going to use a very common font, which is Open Sans, extra bold. Let's see this. Okay, so everybody is supposed to have Common Sans on their computer installed. So I'm not gonna have the problem that I was anticipating right now. All right, so let's continue with Open Sans then. Okay. This course will help you. Let's use these safe zones provided to us by Canva, okay, to make sure we are within them. Okay, so this, that's pretty good. And now what I'm gonna do is to go fetch some of the arguments from my Udemy uh, landing page, from the course landing page, so udemy.com because I did the like hard job of finding these perfect arguments when I was creating my Canva course. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy some of those. Okay, so that's the course. And if I click on it, oh yes, I need to click on it from like an incognito page because otherwise, as I'm the creator of the course, I will be directly inside the course. So open this uh, incognito mode so I can actually access the landing page right there. Okay, so discover all the latest features. Okay, I'm, go I'm just gonna copy this text. Yep, perfect. What you will learn, and I will change my text for this. What you will learn. Okay, pretty good. And I'm going to create a new text box and paste all of this. Okay, so this is what people will learn. I'm going to leave more space between this and I'm going to justify this to the right. It's like this. All right. Make some bullet points to make it look nicer. Maybe a little bit bigger, 28. Perfect. And I'm gonna stick with the open source family. All right, what you will learn, and this is what you will learn with the course. All right, so maybe I need to stay consistent with this style. What I will do, I will copy this. Let me show you how you do that. I'm gonna copy this gradient here up, and I'm gonna push it down. Well, actually, no, I'm gonna reduce its size. So I still have this little line here at the bottom and then what I can do is insert some kind of visual because this is a little bit bland like there is a lot of text but not so much uh, cool visual here so what could I add here so that it looks nicer well first I could use the Udemy logo that I uploaded earlier let me find it I could use something like this dumb photo of me this is pretty good and the Udemy logo is gonna come here. All right, so that sounds about right. Let me find the Udemy logo here, okay? Click, and I make this smaller. 
boom, on my forehead. I love these photos. That's one of the best investment I made in my life to really like spend half a day in the studio, coming to the photographer, who is my girlfriend, by the way, and, and does a great job at photos. Diana, shout out to you for these beautiful photos. I've been using them again and again and again, and I just love them. This is what you will learn. Discover all the features now available in Canva 2.0. Learn the fundamentals, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm saving you all the details. So the next page, page number three, is me going to give a few student testimonials. Okay, so I have, I receive a lot of student testimonials on Udemy and a lot of them are five or four stars, so which is pretty good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select two of them and add them to different pages here of this uh, landing page. So it gives some kind of social proof. And uh, yeah, it just shows people what students actually think of the course. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to copy this text and use it here that says what my students think. Okay, let's use this. I want to replicate this little bar here at the bottom. That's why I wanted to show you how to create these. And what I want to do is to use some quotation marks. So quote or quotation mark. Let's see what they have in store for us. Yep. Some of them are pretty cool. This is pretty nice. Okay, I want to make this smaller. I'm going to push this up to here because I need some space for the quotation. And I'm going to use one of the color of this bar. So the way to do this, you use your color picker. If you don't have a color picker installed, you can go to your Chrome extension. So go to Chrome if you're using Chrome. If you're using another browser, there are probably other extensions. Like just go to your extension store. You shouldn't be paying for it because there's a ton of free ones. But then if you go to more tools, extensions, this is where you can search for new extensions and install them on your Chrome or whatever browser you're using, Mozilla, or Firefox, or whatever. Uh, use the color picker or some kind of color picker to choose a color from here. And I think I want some kind of orange like this. So this is my color. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to give these quotation mark this color. So really convenient to have a color picker. I'm waiting for the day Canva is going to add this. So what I'm going to do here is copy this and maybe give it a second color from my bar right here, but more in the pink ones. OK, let's see if we can kind of create some cool effect from this. So let's see. Yes, that's not bad. Let's push it back. Yes, this is decent, I would say. I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to group this and center it again. I have the quotation mark. It is centered what my students think. And what I will do is to add a testimonial. So let's go to Udemy and find some good testimonials. So this is my first page. So the latest testimonials, I mean, I could use any of these, but I would like to use, of course, some good ones because I want to show my course under its best light, if I can say. So I remember a very good one by Boyan. Yes, here. Uh, Boyan says, absolutely amazing course. This is not just a Canva course. This is a digital marketing, personal branding, the importance of visuals. So this is a pretty good testimonial. OK, I'm going to take all the way to here and use this testimonial on my page that I'm creating. OK, so for this, I'm going to go and duplicating this text right here. OK, so I'm having this here. I will get rid of the bullets and copy this here. I'm going to reduce the spacing between the lines to have something like this. I want this to be centered. Pretty cool. Maybe italic doesn't work. All right, so this is pretty nice. I'm going to maybe leave a little bit more in between. So 1.5 should be good. Yes, it is good. Make sure it is in the middle. And then I will ungroup this. And I will do something like this. I'm going to flip this one horizontally. Yes, this looks pretty cool. 
I will do something like that. So you just need to make sure the alignment is good. So I'm going to select this whole thing. Now it looks right. I'm going to group this, maybe reduce its size a little bit, put this in the middle of my page like this, bring this down a little bit. And what I need to do is to add a visual of Boyan, right? Because Boyan, he has a photo here. So I think it's always more powerful, like social proof when you can associate it with a visual, at least a photo of the person. So I'm going to open the profile of Boyan in another page. And I'm going to see if I can grab his photo right here. So view info, I can copy this URL. And I believe I can fetch this photo. If I paste the URL, let me see. Yep, there's a photo. It's not a big one, but this will work. This is my desktop. Okay, I'm going to put Boyan. All right, it's now here. Let's fetch this, import that into Canva. And then now I can use it. All right, how am I going to use this? I want to put this into a round frame that can come here. So that would be actually pretty cool. Let me see if I can do this. So I need a frame, a round frame. So frames are here. Okay, and frames, this one. Let's do something like this, like half of it. Let's put Boyan's photo here, see how it looks like. So my uploads and Okay, that's a little bit too much because the photo was small. So I need to find the right place for this. I think the best place would be here. Yes, and I can have his name. Okay, that's a little bit too big. Let's make this small and clean. All right, actually I can create a new text box. Bring it down. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna type in his name. So there. Okay, that's Boyan, and I'm going to be consistent with my open source. Maybe something bolder. Yeah, this looks nice. And the last thing I can do is to change the outline. Maybe I can even use one of these colors. Yeah, oh, I have two different colors. Okay, this looks nice. Uh, maybe bring it down a little bit like this. So absolutely amazing course. Okay, so this is pretty cool, guys. This is my first testimonial. I'm going to copy this page and add a second testimonial. Okay, getting rid of this one. And then I can center everything there. Okay, so this looks nice. I just need a second testimonial. This one is also pretty good. So amazing production, highly comprehensive course, exceptionally engaging. You don't get better than this user. <laughs> I like this one. Five star testimonial from Peter. So Peter, congratulations. You made it to my landing page. <laughs> so pretty cool. I, and I, I'm really thankful and grateful about all these nice feedback I get from my students. And also I feel happy that I'm able to provide so much value that they perceive so much value when they buy my course. So this really pushes me to continue and to create series like this one, like a free course, which I could easily have sold on Udemy as well. But I mean, I kind of fell in love with my community and I really like to be there and provide value. Of course, I'm also super happy when they buy my course. But for me, teaching is really about this, like what can you bring to people and make difference, like make an impact on their lives. So that's really nice. Okay, so amazing production, highly comprehensive. Okay, so I need Peter's photo. So does he have a photo? It doesn't. So that complicates things a little bit. So what I could do is to search for Peter on my Facebook group in the Facebook community. So let's see if Peter is a member of our Canva group. So this is learn to design with Canva and have a bunch of people who want to join. I should accept them. Let's go to the members section and search for Peter. Are you here? Yeah, Peter is here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go fetch Peter's photo from his profile picture on Facebook. So save as an image. Yes, and this is Peter. Perfect. Nice. 
Okay, so back to my presentation. And I will import Peter's photo showing folder, import that into Canva there. Yes. And I'm just going to change Boyan's photo for Peter's photo like this very easily. Boom. And I can change this for my other color. Nice. So that's the second testimonial. And it's pretty cool. What I should be doing here is to add the little stars because these two people gave me a five star review. If I'm correct, let me double check, but pretty sure they did. So that's Boyan and yeah, that was page two. Oh yeah, it's here. So Peter gave me five star and Boyan as well. So I'm going to add these stars because I'm proud of them. All right, so I remember that Canva has these star, the yellow stars. Mm -hmm. Show me the yellow stars. Yes, so, well, it's not yellow, but this will work. Okay, so the way I do this, I'll create a new page. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to make this smaller, about this size. Okay, like this. Now I'm going to move them. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, three, sorry. One, two, one. Okay, so now they are evenly spread. What I need to do is to give them a nice yellow color. Yep, like this. This looks Udemy-like. So this is pretty nice. All right, so now I'm going to group this and import this here. Make sure it is centered. Nice. I'm going to copy it, put it here for Boyan's testimonial and there. So now I have my two testimonials, five star, and they add social proof course right here to my course landing page. I can group this, rearrange to make this page a little bit more balanced, right? The text here it looks good. I think these two pages look pretty good. So I can move on to the last page of this landing page, which should be a call to action page. So we have like the best Canva course for only $9.99. What you will learn, what my students say about it. Okay. And a call to action. So it should be grab it now for $9.99. Okay, so let's see how I can do this. I'm going to use this feature. Let me show you again. So I pressed this little icon here that's called the page manager. So if you press this button, it's going to show you all your pages uh, in, in one screen. So you can move them around. And what I want to do is to move this one here for now so I can work on the last page by copying some of the elements of this. So I want to copy this, that's why I did this. Okay, so grab it now. Grab it now. Only $9.99. Okay, so let's make this way bigger. That's the call to action. I want it to be quite big. Grab it now for only $9.99. So the button could be basically a replica of this. And we just make this smaller and button like. All right. Something like this looks nice. Something looks off and off balance. So maybe I should play with the distance of the box here. Like, okay, so this now center. Okay. And this one, I'm going to do the same. So reduce the size of the box to the last thing before it splits into two lines and then position center to make sure it is aligned. Grab it now for $9.99. Okay, something like this. This is the button and I'm gonna make this clickable. Grab it now, maybe I can do something like this and position this forward. And this should become white. 
All right, so this is my call to action. I'm going to center this a little bit better. All right, I'm going to push this down a little bit and make this bigger. Grab it now for only 9.99. And then I can have a complementary. So that's open source 24. Let's do this uh, argument here that says, because this is true also guys, that 9.99 is the cheapest price I can go on Udemy. So you won't find cheaper than this, even when Udemy does promotion, the cheapest you will ever find on Udemy. Okay, so this is just being transparent. I cannot go lower than 9.99. Udemy won't let me by saying that because people sometimes think, oh, I can get a better deal, but no, you won't. So, all right, and position this in the center like this. Right, so this is pretty cool. The last thing I need to do is to add a link on this to a coupon that I've created that actually goes to my Udemy course and where you can grab it for $9.99 because normally the price is higher than this. So this is a discount I'm giving you guys. If you wish to take the course, click on this link. I'm going to leave the link of this landing page on a separate documents like the lesson description or in a document that I put at the end of the free course or here on Udemy. So that's how you can grab it and yes, and benefit from this price for the Canva master course, All right? The cheapest you will ever find on Udemy. All right, good. So the last thing I need to do is to add the button URL. So this is it. And I'm going to create a button apply. I'm also going to put the link on the text apply. Good. And a last piece of visual to make this page pleasant. I need to push this back up like this. This is the first page, second page, third. Okay, grab it now for $9.99. Okay, two things. I want to add a click visual so people understand they need to click this button. So click or tap, whatever. So I'm going to use this little hand right here, put it here like this. A little visual of me. Yep, I'm gonna use this one. Put it here in the corner. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna move this whole thing here a little bit like this. And this concludes my landing page, guys. So now I'm gonna test this. Looks pretty good to me. I have a clickable call to action at the end, some testimonials like a student proof, a social proof, that's how you call it, a landing page with a button that indicates you have to scroll down. So this looks pretty good to me. Everything done with Canva in what, half an hour? So this is pretty good guys. And now I'm going to go there and use the arrow, choose websites, okay, websites. And then I have a couple of options. I can use a scrolling website. So that's a single page site with parallax effect. I can use classic navigation, which is a multi-page site with navigation bar. Uh, I can use presentation, which is just like if you are going to present that, let's say give a presentation, it's just slide after slide. Not very interesting for this. And standard, which is a single page site with navigation bar. So what I want is a scrolling page. So let me show you guys, I'm gonna open this website. All right, so that's the URL of my website. I'm gonna copy this and paste it here in my document. This is what I'm going to paste so that you can easily access it. And I'm going to show you another trick as well in just a second. Open the website. All right, and this is how it looks like. So I'm scrolling down and you see it's pretty clean. I have all my pages, my customer my student testimonials and then grab it now and you see when I hover over the button let me open this in an incognito window to show you that the call to action actually works yes it works this is the price 300 Thai baht so you have a 96% off this course which is pretty cool this is the coupon and so everything works perfectly guys I'm going to close this window so this is how you create landing pages with Canva. 
Uh, so let me go back to Canva. And this is pretty cool. In order to see the page as you should see it, so like this, uh, you need to have a Canva account. So if you click on the link that I'm going to give you uh, in, the, in the next lecture, there's, I'm going to create a little written lecture with all the links. If you click on this link and it's not opening the website but leads you to the Canva landing page where it prompts you to create an account, you have to create an account first. It's free, but you need a Canva account in order to see Canva websites. All right, so that's all I had for you guys. I think this little free course was kind of packed with value. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a review. I took a bunch of time to create this course for you, hoping that it will bring the most value to you guys. I hope this course will help you become better designers. I'm waiting for you on the YouTube channel, on the Facebook group, and maybe why not in my Canva master course. Thank you for watching me and I will see you in the next course.